Tuesday, the Center for Disease Control has, out of an abundance of caution, paused the administration of the Johnson & Johnson vaccine. Joining us today is our public health officer, Dr. Present, to tell us what that means for Clackamas County. Dr. Present, this news can be somewhat alarming for somebody who may have already received the Johnson & Johnson vaccine. So if a person's received this vaccine, what do they need to know and what should they do? Yes, excellent questions. Thank you, Kimberly, for having me on and for giving me the opportunity to explain what's going on. So first of all, if you have already received the Johnson & Johnson vaccine, otherwise known as the Janssen vaccine, I encourage you primarily to continue to be happy that you're vaccinated against COVID-19, which is still spreading rapidly in Clackamas County and has a much, much higher risk of causing health problems than any of the concerns around the vaccine right now. Centers for Disease Control and the FDA, the Food and Drug Administration, have recommended a pause on using the Johnson & Johnson vaccine while they look further into some reports of an unusual type of blood clot that has occurred in um, a small handful of people after receiving the vaccine. So out of more than 6.8 million vaccinations that have been given, there have been six cases of this unusual type of blood clot. So it's incredibly rare. They've been in women aged 18 to 48, and they are reviewing these to see if it is in fact related to the vaccine or something else that is not known in this time. This is being done out of an abundance of caution and as part of how we ensure the safety of vaccines. Whenever there is a blip and a suggestion that there might be something going on, we pause, we evaluate, and do not go forward with giving any more vaccines until we are sure that it is safe. So at this point, if you have received the Johnson & Johnson COVID-19 vaccine, um, if you develop specific symptoms like severe headaches, uh, severe abdominal pain, leg pain or swelling, or shortness of breath within three weeks after your vaccination, contact your healthcare provider or seek emergency medical care. You can work with your doctor on reporting those events in the VAERS, V-A-E-R-S database. That's how the CDC and the FDA pick up on these. And that information will continue to support this, the research. Could you get into more detail on how the pause of the Johnson & Johnson vaccine affects people who already had an appointment set up? Absolutely. So Clackamas County is going along with Oregon and the CDC and FDA and pausing and not using the Johnson & Johnson vaccine until this review process is complete out of an abundance of caution. The review process, uh, the committee is meeting tomorrow and we should have more information about that um, uh, later this week. In the meantime, we are working with all of our partners who have this vaccine on alternative plans. Some of our vaccination plans have been paused and put off for a week until we know more. Most of them we are working on switching to a different vaccination, uh, primarily Moderna. People who have appointments for these clinics will be alerted either through a phone call, a text message, or an email, depending on how you signed up for it, that we are switching and you will be scheduled for your second dose when you receive your first dose at that, at that clinic. So the CDC says they are pausing the use of the Johnson & Johnson vaccine out of a, an abundance of caution. So what does that mean for the future of the Johnson & Johnson vaccine and the safety of the COVID-19 vaccine in general? So the current review process of the Johnson & Johnson vaccine really demonstrates our federal government's dedication to vaccine safety. This process ensures that any questions of vaccine safety are appropriately evaluated. The blood clot condition reported is extremely rare and we're still uncertain if it developed as a direct result of the vaccine or something else. If the Advisory Committee on Vaccine Practices finds that the Johnson Johnson vaccine is safe for continued use, Clackamas County will support this finding and provide the vaccine at future vaccination events. We will act in the best interest of our community to decrease the spread of COVID-19 and all of its medical complications and continue our reopening of our economy and our schools. Well, thank you for joining us, Dr. President, and setting the record straight on what is happening with the vaccine and vaccinations in our community. This is a developing situation and we will do our best at Clackamas County to keep you, our residents, up to date. Uh, please continue checking our website for more information and keep in mind there are vaccines that we are still administering or that are being administered in our county. You can visit our website to learn how to sign up for a vaccination. Thank you for joining us. Please stay safe and we'll see you soon.